Is protein only good for athletes, Dr. Ted? No, protein is good for everyone, uh, especially for older people. You know, I'm, when I was young, I don't know why I always had this like respect and love for older people. And little did I know that I already realized that I was gonna grow old, uh, you know, uh, after a while. Uh, and die. But <laughs> during that time, I wanted to have a great quality of life, right? You know, barring acute infections and, and fulminant sepsis and, things and, and accidents control. and right. things you can't control. Mm -hmm. you, know, mm -hmm. you know, I'm looking at, you know, this life cycle of ours and proteins are actually used all the way to the end of your life, right? And, and that's why I always remind my clients, like, hey, you know, your enzymes are made of proteins. And as you know, as you get older, the enzymes become more and more sluggish, I right? Do, yeah. So it, it's really uh, very good for, for everyone to take a look at their protein intake. As we age, our muscle mass goes down. Also, so our, yeah. our risk of sarcopenia, which is the lack of muscle, mm, mm. is a huge risk factor for like all causes of mortality, yeah, right? Yeah. Because if you fall and you don't have a lot of muscle mass, mm -hmm. you have a higher risk of breaking a hip yeah. compared to and having more muscle mass. Yeah, uh, that, that's the thing that I also explain to clients is that most of the hip fractures are actually caused by, not by the fall itself, but failing to grasp, you know, that doesn't have any hand strength, right? Yeah. To, to grasp up something in order to fall gracefully. They just fall because they their hands slip and then they break their hip. Yeah.